morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. My name is Patty, and we're here at the Atlantic Harbor Seal exhibit at the New England Aquarium, and you're going to join us for a virtual visit as we do a training session. So I'm just going to step over here, let my coworkers know that we're ready to go, and then I'm going to introduce you to all of our animals. All right, so as everyone comes out, um, our seals are going to be picked up at whatever location we choose, as long as we have an object in front of them called their name target. And as we start the session, I'll point out who is who and what those objects look like. So up first we have Amelia and Trumpet. And so you'll see here we have this black target, that's for Amelia. And on the other side, we have a white T-shaped object and that's for Trumpet. Now Trumpet just finished up her molt, as did the rest of our animals. So this is an amazing time to get to see her because she's at her most beautiful. So she has a very bright silver coat and dark black spots on her belly. And just like dogs shed, harbor seals will do the same thing. The difference is that that process happens much more quickly. So within about three weeks time, she went from having her old coat from last year to this beautiful brand new coat. Now we're gonna show off some training that she does called Innovative in this session. It's a really awesome way to see what's on your animal's mind. And we give them a signal um, and we just say the word different and then they can offer anything that they want. So I'll show you what that looks like. So she offered a wave first, then she offered a flex neck, a salute. You can see she's got a lot of different behaviors that she can pull from from her repertoire. Kissing each other counts. Amelia offered that really nice yes behavior. And then as they complete something new each time, they get reinforced. So the only rule in that innovative is that each behavior has to be different from the ones that they've done previously. You can see an example of that in the water. She's showing off a lot of different motions, swimming around counts moving her head backwards counts. All of those things are new and different from the ones she offered before. And so she's getting a whole bunch of fish to let her know that she did a great job. Amelia here has also finished her molt. And so she's got that beautiful new silver coat as well. And so this is a really amazing time to get to see these animals. We're gonna move on to the next group. And this is Dakota. He's here with his trainer, Serena. Now, Chakota's really cool. If you've seen virtual visits before, you may have heard of his story. I'm just gonna say hi to everybody. He is the seal that we have who vocalizes. And so if Serena gives him the signal, he can do whatever kind of vocalizing he wants. And this is something that he's done in the past, especially during breeding season. Let's see what he sounds like. I think that sound is really, really impressive. And it changes in volume, it changes in duration. It's just whatever he feels like saying at the time. Now we were able to turn this into something even more exciting for us where we could shape the sounds that he makes. So it also almost sounds like a human word. So I'm gonna sneak in here next to Serena and we'll see if he wants to offer this for you guys. Dakota, good boy. Listen, how are you? Good job, Chuck. So it sounds similar to how are you, if you use your imagination a little bit, but isn't that amazing that an animal can shape the sounds that they're making just by trainers working with them? You may have seen that with birds a lot in the past as well. Thanks, Chucky. All right, we're gonna move on to the next group of seals, my coworker, Kim. This handsome dude is reggae. He is the biggest by far of all of our harbor seals. You can see that he has a beautiful head, he also has many chins, and that means he has a great layer of blubber. And then on the left, we have our most petite seal. This is Cayenne, and Cayenne is part of our spotted family. So if Kim asks them to lay out, we can actually show you directly the difference between the spotted and the non-spotted family. So this is reggae, very little spots on his belly, whereas Cayenne has huge spots on her belly, just like that. That's why she has that name from Cayenne Pepper. 
So they're from two different family groups. Reggae and Amelia are siblings, and Cayenne and Chakota are siblings. Now during this session with Reggae, we're gonna show off some of the really neat breeding behaviors he does. And so during breeding season, males wanna show off to the females. And so he came up with a whole bunch of different things. So I'm gonna sneak in a little bit so you can hear him. Bubbles. Good. Zip. Good. Good. Can we do that one one more time? Good. Under. So all four of those are really cool things that he's come up with during breeding season. I'm going to take a step back and we'll show you one more very splashy one he's come up with on his own as well. Ready? Good. So those big front flippers that our harbor seals have are what they utilize to get um, that water spray going. And it's a pretty fun thing to see him do that. He'll do it in session and outside of training sessions. Now we feed our animals here three times a day. One of the great aspects about the Atlantic Harbor Seal exhibit is the fact that it's out in front of New England Aquarium. So if you happen to be coming by our area, if you're not able to have enough time to come in to visit, you can still come and check out our Harbor Seals any day. We're going to head back over here. You can see Chakota is over there greeting our guests. So like I said, if you happen to come by, You'll get to catch that really fun training session or even just watch them as they're cruising through the water. Sometimes we'll have people ask us if they're okay because they're down at the bottom of the exhibit rather than swimming along. And believe it or not, a harbor seal can hold their breath for 25 minutes so he can... Sweet moves, Chuck. Will you show them his sink behavior? Sure. He can sink down underwater just like that, change his lung capacity, and then he can stay under there for quite a long time and take a really nice nap. So we're going to wrap up with our training session. If you have any questions, you can always post them on Facebook. We'll be happy to answer them. And we just wanted to thank you all so much for your support during our closure. We're so excited to be open and we hope to see you guys soon. Bye everybody.